Hi Ninja, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to review a computer skill test that is most likely taken online or on paper. I also remember taking this kind of test when I first applied for a job. Obviously these are things that you can just research online or you can try out yourself when you are checking out your computer or when you are uh, discovering things about your computer or something like that. So if you're interested about this and let's begin. Question number one, how do you open a new window in Google Chrome? Letter A, Alt plus F4, B, Control plus N, C, Control plus Shift plus Enter, and D, none of the above. The answer is letter B, Control plus N. You should actually try it out on your own so that you will know how it works. Question number two, how do you switch tabs in Google Chrome? Letter A, Control plus Shift plus T. B, press Shift and click a link. C, Alt plus Tab. And D, none of the above. My answer is D, none of the above. Because when you try it, it is actually Control plus Shift plus tab. Question number three, how do you copy a certain sentence, phrase, or link in Google Chrome? So this one is very, very helpful and you use this a lot or you will use this a lot. Letter A, highlight the sentence, phrase, or link, then control plus T. B, highlight the sentence, phrase, or link, then F1. C. Highlight the sentence, phrase, or link, then control C. And D. None of the above. So the answer is letter C. Highlight the sentence or select the sentence, phrase, or link, then use control plus C on your keyboard. Question number four, how do you paste a certain sentence, phrase, or link which you have copied in Google Chrome? So the previous question was how do you copy? Now after you copy, apparently you're going to paste it to a to Notepad, for example, or MS Word or wherever you want to paste it. So how do you paste it? Letter A, control plus V. Letter B, shift plus print screen button, C, control plus spacebar, and D, none of the above. So the answer is control plus V. Of course, you can also do this using your mouse when you right click, but these are actually the computer or keyboard shortcuts. Question number five, how do you go to the previous page in your browsing history tab in Google Chrome? This one is actually quite confusing. So I checked it out. These are the options. A, right click or click and hold either the back or forward arrow in the browser toolbar. So that's not it because it says previous page and it has a forward option. So letter B, press backspace or alt and the left arrow together. Letter C, press shift plus backspace or alt and the right arrow together. And letter D, none of the above. So my answer is letter B, just either press backspace or you can right click use you can see that you can use alt and then the left arrow together question number six what is the default application for opening text files a microsoft word b notepad c windows media player it's definitely letter b notepad Question number seven, what application is used to compress and archive a file or folder? A, C, Cleaner, B, File Explorer, C, WinRAR. So the answer is letter C, WinRAR. And you can also check it out on your own so that you'll understand it better. 
Next question, number eight. Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Opera are in what classification of applications? A, File Explorer, B, Web Browser, C, Search Engine, D, none of the above. And definitely the answer is letter B, Web Browser. This is also the same as Google Chrome or Chrome. It is a web browser. Question number nine, which of the following should you do first before shutting down your PC? A, save your documents online. B, close the programs you are working with. C, log out all the programs and websites you used during your work. D, immediately shut down the PC. My answer is letter C, log out all the programs first and also all of the websites during your work before you shut down your PC. Question number 10, part of a computer that is responsible for processing data. A, motherboard, B, processor, C, CPU, D, monitor. So in this case, it is actually quite confusing because there's a processor, there's also a CPU, which is also a processor. So it means central processing unit, but there is also a GPU or graphics processing unit. And so since it is asking about a general part of a computer, then my answer is letter B, processor. Question number 11. Part of a computer that is responsible for computer speed. The higher capacity you have, the better your application will work. A. ROM. B. RAM. C. Hard drive. And D. Motherboard. So these things, you can actually Google them so that you can locate the meaning or definition. Obviously, you'll not be able to Google them once you are already answering the exam at the company's um, exam room or wherever you're taking it so that's why we're having this review so that you can also search for it on your own during your free time so when we say rom it actually means um, read only memory so it refers to computer memory chips containing permanent or semi-permanent data and we also have RAM, which is random access memory. It's a form of computer memory that can be read and changed in any order. And it's typically used to store working data and machine code. And when I buy laptop or desktop computer, we always consider the RAM because it really affects the speed of the computer. And so that is why my answer to this question is letter B, RAM. But then we also have other options, which are C, hard drive, and letter D, motherboard. But I will go for letter B, RAM. Question number 12. It is where you physically see the processes of the computer. A, keyboard, B, motherboard, C, monitor, D, mouse. So the answer is letter C, monitor. It's where you can see everything physically. Question number 13. Part of computer where you physically input data for the computer to process. A. Mouse. B. Monitor. C. Keyboard. And the answer is letter C. Keyboard. Question number 14 and the last question. It is a collection of instructions that enable the user to interact with a computer, its hardware, or perform tasks. A. Hardware. B. CPU. C. RAM. D. Software. And my answer is letter D. Software. If you want to know more about computers or any keyboard shortcuts, again, please feel free to use the advantage that you have, which is access to a computer or a laptop or access to the internet. In any case, you don't have access to that, then look for ways in which you can access those things. You can even just go to an internet cafe or even borrow from a family friend, your friend, or any of your loved ones, just so you'll be able to review these terms and these questions on your own. 
I also have some videos about people telling me that they're not really that good in handling or using a computer but still they applied. And actually computer skills are one of the easiest things that you can learn on your own. Like it doesn't have to be that complicated although of course each and every one of us has his or her own learning curve but i'm pretty confident that when you spend some time to practice using the computer you will definitely be good and then eventually be better at it so that's about it for today's test review video i hope this helps you and good luck to your application if you like this content please don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't yet and share this to anyone who can benefit so see you again on my next video that's going to be every tuesday and friday take care and bye bye